Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports, and today I want to talk about the NFL. The New England Patriots have made a trade with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. What I want to talk about today is who was involved in that trade and how this helps both teams in 2022. Again, I'm Alec Walt. This is Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Yes, the New England Patriots and Tampa Bay Bucks have made an official trade. According to multiple reports, the New England Patriots have traded offensive guard Shaq Mason to the Buccaneers for a fifth round pick. I don't really criticize Belichick much, but reading that out loud does not sound very good for the Patriots. I mean, Shaq Mason's a veteran guard who the Patriots drafted in the fourth round years back, has played his entire career in New England, and has been one of the better offensive linemen on this team for years. And losing him for a fifth round pick is one, surprising, and two, not a great return for one of the better guards on the team. You look at the offensive line right now, it's it's not great. I mean, they lost Ted Karras to the Cincinnati Bengals. Trent Brown is a free agent. You know, Isaiah Wynn and Owen Wayne Yu and David Andrews are coming back. But, you know, Wynn's someone who plays the premier position on this offensive line and gets injured on a yearly basis. This is a uh, Mason's a guy who's extremely reliable on the offensive line. It's very familiar with with the system in New England, his expectations, and seeing him go for a fifth-round pick is extremely unfortunate. Now, you're probably asking yourself, why would the Patriots do this? And the only reason that I can think of that makes sense is salary cap purposes. He was owed $7.5 million this year, $8.5 million next year. So while the Patriots are losing one of the better offensive linemen on their team, they are getting some cap flexibility to improve in other spots on the roster. Now, the Patriots could have definitely made other moves on the roster to free some cap flexibility. I'm not a huge fan of the fact that Shaq Mason is now no longer on this team. But, you know, when you look at the Patriots right now, they haven't really done much here in free agency. Now, they haven't had millions of dollars to spend like they did last year. And they certainly went on a spending spree that no one was expecting. but you know, to move on from a offensive lineman like Shaq Mason to only receive a fifth round pick. I don't know anyone in New England who's currently sitting there thrilled over the fact that Bill made this move. Now for Tampa Bay, this move is extremely obvious because they lost both of their starting guards to retirement and free agency. Tom Brady announced his return to Tampa Bay. So for them, they needed to find a way to improve the interior of their offensive line. Ryan Jensen did re-sign on a contract once Brady made his announcement he was returning but with Kappa and Marpe gone Shaq Mason makes a ton of sense I mean again he's a very solid run blocker they're a team that relied on the running game of Leonard Fournette and other pieces last year we'll see if Leonard Fournette returns for the Buccaneers uh while or in this free agency period but Man, I don't criticize Belichick very much, but a fifth-round pick in return for Shaq Mason is an absolutely terrible deal for the New England Patriots. You know, you got to think that a move is going to follow this. Um, you have to think that Bill will obviously prioritize offensive line in the draft and a little bit more here in free agency. But, you know, it would have been nice to see Belichick make this move after, you know, having another secure piece on the offensive line. You know, who knows what happens with Trent Brown? Who knows if Isaiah Wynn can stay healthy for a full season? You know, and Wayne Yu and, and, and Andrews are two very solid pieces on the offensive line. But one thing the Patriots were very confident in throughout the entire season last year was the fact that they had a very solid interior offensive lineman. And remember, this Patriots offense relies on a very solid running game. Now, the Patriots don't win, you know, 10 games last year and make it to the playoffs without they're a quality run blocking offensive line. I mean, Damian Harris, Ramondre Stevenson, James White was play, was injured the other part of the season. He's returning next year. They still need to establish a game on the ground if they want to be successful next year. I mean, remember, there was a game last year where they only passed the ball three times against the Buffalo Bills. You know, Shaq Mason's a huge part of that. So I'm not happy today as a Patriots fan. Um, I'm very rarely upset with Bill Belichick, but... Man, this fifth-round pick better be one of the fifth best fifth-round picks in Patriots history because seeing a cornerstone piece of this offensive lineman go on this offensive line go for such little return doesn't make me too happy.
So hopefully Bill Belichick has a trick up his sleeve to find a way to improve multiple spots on this offensive line. But again, Shaq Mason's on his way to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, reuniting with the GOAT, Tom Brady. And he, saw, and he is under contract for two more years. The Patriots get cap relief for this year and next year, seven and a half in 2022 and eight and a half in 2023. What do you think of this deal between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and New England Patriots? Shaq Mason on his way down south. Feel free to give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you upset like I am for the Patriots getting a fifth round pick for one of the better offensive linemen on the team? Feel free to give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in, and we will see you very soon.